I just want you to imagine. Just imagine for a second that you're a twenty-something parent. Perhaps you're even older. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to go through the same thing when you have children. <laughs> so just imagine that you've come home from a really busy day at work. It's been hell. And who's waiting for there for you but your lovely wife? And your adorable little baby. Oh. Oh, but then night comes. And that baby becomes a hellspawn. Because that baby doesn't want to go down. No. And you're tired. Oh, you're so tired. You just want to close your eyes. But every time you do, where, where? Screaming, yelling, horrible noise. Sounds like nails on a chalkboard. And that's, of course, what it's designed to do. But you try to get your little house spawned down. And by the time it's ten o'clock, your baby finally does. And you give a little silent celebration. Yay! Oh, but then the anxiety comes. Because your child's fallen asleep in the rocker. And the last time you tried to move them, they woke up and screamed the house down. But now they're snoring. Now they're quiet. Now everything seems fine. Oh, what is it? Is it? That's the question. So you have to think up crazy solutions. Like picking up the whole rocket. Picking up the whole damn heavy thing to try and get the baby to its bedroom before it wakes up and screams the house down for the whole neighborhood to hear. So Get to the bedroom. But uh oh. The whole apparatus doesn't fit through the door. So what are you going to do? The baby seems asleep. But is it? Oh, <laughs> is it? Is it really? Who knows? Only the baby does. Only the little hellspawn, little banshee, Lucifer. So you're sitting there and you're shitting your pants. Because you literally have to make a decision. Do you try and open the door more and make more noise? Because your baby's already opened its eyes once before and looked at you like, I'm going to scream and then come back to sleep. Or do you take the biggest risk of all? Do you lift it up out of that rocker? Do you try to put it in its cot? And then suddenly its eyes open. And you have to hold your breath. Because you are just picturing the biggest scream on the face of the planet. And then you've got to start all over again. And you probably have to start work very soon. Oh. Oh, now that would make one hell of a horror game, don't you think? Imagine the anxiety of people who don't know what it's like to have a baby. Because the jump scare would just be the baby shooting up awake. And that horrible, horrible scream that seems to go right through every adult. <laughs> And that's what it's designed to do. So let me ask you this. You think raising a baby is easy? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Horror game. You think FNAF's bad? Wait till you have anxiety. Or try not to wake a sleeping baby. Don't wake the baby.